Charizard. And Corrin. Okay. Well, Pleiades is a Charizard player. Very interesting. Aegis back on the Ness. That is uh, something he's faded off to quite a lot. I'm pr I thought Pleiades was a fox. Yeah, Bishley's always on the fox. Yeah, that yeah. is... Charizard secondary. All right, well, that's a pretty odd combination of characters. Pretty much the fastest, like, most honest character in the game versus Charizard. Yeah, Charizard's a bit of a special one, having uh, a, a Tipper-esque thing with the fire on his tail for his back air. Um, actually, for pretty much, I think it's all of his, his tail moves. Um, what the hell? I don't know if I've ever seen Nair Tipper, but I don't know. Could happen. Uh, yeah, I believe it. Yeah, see there, twelve percent. If he hits that normally, it'll be like eight, I think. Oh, is that right? All right, so yeah, good start then. Oh uh, yeah, eating that twenty-one percent early. I, yeah, I like. I don't. I don't know a ton of Charizards in BC. We don't have a lot. I mean, there's T-Bird. Yep. And that's gonna Ooh, Ooh that's solid rough. downer. Getting that spike really early. Luckily though, for ages he was. Ooh, man. Man, never mind, this Charizard, he's just controlling it very well. A big thing about Charizard in this matchup, I feel, in this doubles matchup, is uh, both of his opponents have reasonably linear um, and long startups for the recovery. At least Fox's up B does, uh, and I don't need to explain yeah, Ness. Ness, obviously. <laughs> um, so a down air is going to be huge to be able to just stomp them down, be able to take uh, earlier stocks than you would normally expect to get. So it's... Ooh. Kind of an interesting matchup because it's uh oh man man that nest back air is just so strong. Yeah, back throw. Just like ninety percent oh at ledge. That's not gonna kill. Was that just a? Did he just do a back air and then get an up smash and that was just two quick stocks? That could have happened. This yeah, is really uh, rough. Yeah, that's uh, off to a pretty tough start for for Bishley Ages here. Uh, I don't know if they who won the who won the stage pick here. Um, I'm guessing it was Bishley and Ages. Well, I feel that uh, neither neither player or neither um, none of the characters have huge issues trying to land. So it's not like anyone won that way with FD. I think where it really breaks down is the neutral. Um, if, if this gets down to a one v one, the neutral of Charizard I feel is pretty rubbish. Yeah. Um, especially without platforms. He doesn't have a lot of true. He doesn't have like any throw true combos either. He does it very specific percents, but in general, you can get out of it. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're banking on a lot. Oh man, getting eating that up here. Uh, yeah, that was Mono. Mono losing a, a second stock. He's been the first one to lose the first stock of each each number. Lost the first. Oh man, first stock. eating that forward air, getting taken out to the side. Mono trying to pass over to play this, not working out as he just wasn't in position for it. Of the sea. Yeah, these uh, Ness is kind of getting some stuff going on, on Pleiades here. He's trying to keep him outside. He's trying to let... Um, Uh-oh. Oh, no. Up smash going to be able to take that. Up Powerful smash. move. Fox at a pretty high percent. Jeez, up air going to take that. The air dodge gets right through it. That's oh, lucky. good counter. Doesn't hit Aegis. That would have been a pretty, pretty wicked been lucky. counter. Uh, had, he, had he hit the counter on Aegis as well, that pops him off stage, leads to an edge guard opportunity, maybe gives them the opportunity they need to, to win. Right now, though, ugh, not a, oh, 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 not gonna kill, but big damage. Oh, Bloop. still not gonna kill that back air. Just not quite doing it. Oh, there it is. There's the slow startup down. that I was talking about. Yeah, that's really good. And um, I think Ch uh, Charizard and same with Bowser has kind of the same forward air, as well as very like similar. Sheep. They have very similar forward airs, and then it's kind of like a scoop. Yeah, the big swipe. It's really fast. And it has a ton of kill power. Charizard's a little bit smaller than yeah, Bowser. Charizard's just smaller. You don't see a lot of Charizard players, too, uh, in my opinion, because of uh, how he how he started out. Charizard, to begin with, you know how his up throw, you kind of consider it a kill throw, his seismic toss? Yep. Kills yep. at around, like, 90 to 110%, depending on weight? Yep. Um, and rage, but yep. Yeah, it, it, it used to not at all. Oh, was that buffed? No, yeah, it was buffed a ton. And then also with the removal of Duck Hunt. That was yeah, rule that stage. I mean that. Well, that also hurt like Meta Knight, Kirby. Oh yeah, anyone that could just pop up, anyone slam pop down. Up, which is one of the reasons I really hated that stage, and I'm glad it's gone. I Don't hated it peace, because. Well, if anyone's seen the Captain L versus um, Cantrip at at Sea Land, that that was that was depressing. Ooh, we're gonna see the Mario coming out from Aegis, uh, a character that he switches to um, every once in a while. Depending if he's feeling it. Also has a Falcon. Um, 
Not sure how great it really is. I only saw it. Falcon and Doubles. Anime Revolution. Yeah. Falcon and Doubles isn't the best. Mm. Um, he's, he just gets so much off of doing really specific combos yeah. that it's hard for him to get stuff going in doubles because he'll just get interrupted. Uh, got... Mario, though, super strong doubles character. Oh, for sure. Great kill power, ability to edge guard fairly well. Can get long strings without needing that much time. Yeah, also gets really good setups. Like yeah. with back throw and like all of his throws do really good setups for his uh, for his teammate. But the issue though is Fox outside of up air doesn't really do much with uh, with setups. There's no no spikes he can go for. I mean, unless you want to go for a really really awkward shine spike. But. Yeah, Fox uh, Fox isn't the best character in doubles for sure. But uh, Fishley Ooh. is definitely a really good Fox. And again, so Mono losing the first stock. Yeah, Mono taking that first one. Oh, doesn't get the two frame down air. He had a lot of frames to do that too, as Bishley had to work his way up from almost the deepest depth that up B could come from. Yeah, it's a lot of it. If he was in singles, that probably, he probably would have grabbed that. But since it's doubles and you're a little bit more rushed, it's a little bit more hectic. Bishley. Blue team's in a really rough spot with Mono slowly. Lo oh, yeah, they're that was miscommunication. Upper sense. It's definitely they they can still like. If they just get two quick kills really fast, which with Charizard is definitely a possibility. You do the up throw that's right good. here. That's oh, oh, Mono. Oh, Mono did not need to do that. That was not necessary. That is unfortunate. So they take an extra stock for basically no reason. Yeah. Other than some swag oh, points. Oh, there we go. Dash All attack. Right. All right. So, yeah, uh, just like that, they're kind of back into it. They're a little bit behind, but it's definitely it's not bad at all, especially Smash 4 with the rage factor. Yeah, and uh, Pleiades has been doing a phenomenal job of staying alive. That said, the red team has do been doing a great job of staying in the lead the whole way. They only lost the last game due to uh, an unfortunate issue with Ness's slow up B eating that, eating that forward air. Or no, it was a back air from Charizard. Oh uh, yeah, they're getting whiffed a bit. Uh, there's a couple whiffs on, on forward smashes there. Uh-oh, this is not the place you want to be, especially when you have uh, two counters or two recoveries that are pretty similar. Yeah. Oh, and Pleiades also doing another team He's hit. He's dead. Another team kill from the blue team. That is so unfortunate for them. Oh, oh, oh this is the spike hit down box. There. Wow. Yeah, the kill power on, on Charizard's up B is pretty insane. He has some really good kill setups oh. leading into up B that always surprised me when it happens to me. <laughs> it's got to happen to someone. They're, uh, yeah, they're, they're juggling mono a bit right now, though. Just goes for the just straight up down air. Actually works out for him. Lady's playing a lot of this game. Oh, boy. Oh, really Big good job there. Big up air. Oh, man, you know they're, they, oh, they definitely wanted to do the same thing to Aegis there. Oh, yeah, it seems to be their, their go-to. But he was getting pretty, uh, pretty squirrely and getting out of there. Age is staying alive much, much longer than he should for the blue team's liking. Yeah, oh. he just the name of the game, Aegis is now doing, um, you know. Oh, oh but he rolls into it, hits the up smash. But even still, they got core into 100%, so that's definitely yeah. that's good for them. Bad situation for the blue team. Oh, and there goes Moto. This is all on Pleiades now. Please. He has definitely, awkwardly enough, as the, the lower tier character, he's definitely been the, the better of the team. Jeez, this is rough. Yeah, he's he definitely going to have to pull out some crazies up here. Uh, he I needs to find a way off the edge. And he gets the re-grab. Yeah, that's... Ooh, barely oh, gets man, it back. That's... But it doesn't matter. Just every time he gets off, they just get more percent. And he's he just covered so well. Yeah. Wow. Um, We might see the play switch. Uh, it, I mean... I don't think Fox he's is worse in, tr in doubles than Charizard is, probably, just because he's just like a better character in general. He sure. might be more comfortable in the doubles matchup. I haven't seen Pladies play in doubles before, so... Charizard hits really hard, so he does have, oh, have that advantage of being able to really take advantage of throw setups. And it's a little bit harder for Corrin to get the uh, the tippers in, in the doubles Brood. format. His name was Brood. Brood! That was there the Duck go. Hunt player I was trying to remember. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I can get past that now. Um, he will, uh, actually, I can't tell. I was going to say he will be sticking to the Charizard or will be switching, but the Vancouver Battle Royale <laughs> logo blocking that up for me. He will be sticking to the Charizard. We will be seeing the exact same character matchup as the last game, but over uh, they, to Lilac. Lilac. I would say this, uh, this is a pretty good counter pick. Uh, Charizard, in general, like his, his recovery isn't great on this map, but nope. again, since it's the doubles format, it's a little bit easier to do. As well as since there's so many platforms, that's good for Charizard too. And I think they've kind of realized that they're getting their opponents, they're getting 
Bishley and, and Aegis, two pretty high percents, and yep. then they just can't land kills. So if they have all the platforms there, then they can just get kill throws. Just go for the grab. Yeah. Go for the grab, get that up throw for Charizard. Absolutely. Uh, and the uh, box being really light, too. Helps out. Oh, yeah. He's... The, the red team isn't exactly holding with the uh, the heaviest of characters. These aren't exactly characters that are supposed to be living to these these crazy percents. And man, I didn't mean Mario should die at 95. <laughs> what did he die to? I kind of I believe that. he died to an up air uh, from Mono. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, Corrin, all of her uh, aerials are really, really strong. And they don't look like they do much, but they all hit crazy hard. Yeah, the higher percents, their knockback growth is, is more than enough. Uh oh, oh no, well, I'm, you know what? You can take those ones. Yeah, I guess I guess we take those. If Mono's gonna live for a bit longer, I'd say that's worth. If he dies, if he dies on the next hit, long. then you know that's rough. Rough. Yeah, so that was a little bit unfortunate. They do even up the stocks there. Um, I don't think that was Mono's fault. I think that was a little bit more on the side of, of Plades, just not realizing that he saw the counter come up, and Corrin having probably oh, the, right, second the counter. best, second or third best counter in the game. So it's a little hard to get out of. I mean, Bayonetta is one. Who are you putting in your top three? Shulk. Shulk? Bayonetta, Shulk, Corrin. Oh, I thought he was oh, stuck. Oh, the Lilat actually coming in clutch for Bishley. It Saving tilted down him. just a little. It says, don't worry, buddy. I got you. Don't even worry. Yeah, Rob64 moving that stage for him a little bit. Great Fox is over there, but I'm oh, sure he's man. got control. There's a really good, uh, really good deal just to side B directly into Yikes. the ledge. Oh, slow get up. Good idea using those iframes not to get caught out like he did last Ooh, time. Ooh, gets caught on the drill part of the F smash. That is not where you want to be. No, not at all, as that's going to lead into some massive damage if uh, the person gets to toss it out. Massive knockback, I mean. Damage oh, yeah. too, but knockback. High percents racked up on everyone except for Aegis, but Aegis already onto his last stock. Really even per high percents, but definitely They're blue team favored. Up. Yeah, blue team is looking really good right now. If they kill Bishley, then they're in a fantastic spot. Oh, oh man, calling out the Oh, there goes Bishley, there is, though. though. Yeah, That's a trade definitely favoring the blue team once again. Red team's got to get, yeah, just oh. like that. Okay, so just like that, they're basically dead even again. Yeah, the this issue... This whole set's just been even the whole time, pretty much. The issue will come in if Aegis dies first or if Mono dies first. It's not that I don't think Bishley can win a 2v1, but... He has done it before. Yeah. It's just that you don't want to have to do a 2v1. You just want to be able to avoid that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you, you always want to avoid the 2v1. Usually when uh, you know when you get to that 2v1 scenario, yep. it's it's usually over for you unless you pull out just some crazy stuff. Oh, yeah. But in this case, you would probably want Pleiades to be the one to go down if you had to choose between. Well, yeah, Pleiades just had no way off the ledge. He At is, least yeah. Mono has some mix-ups. Could throw it in air, could drop down up air, throw it counter. He's got a lot Ladies of options. Stuck. Oh, that's oh, it. Oh, just like that. All right, so now Bishley. Percents are high there. He's probably just going to throw the F smash. There it is. Oh, looks for the up smash. Now it's that was that was a really good option. Unfortunately, it didn't kill. And if it did, that would have put him in a fantastic spot. But now he's Forward throw. Good call. Good weight on the grab. I saw what he was doing there. It just didn't want to get hit out of it. Wow. Okay, Super Bishley's doing smart. really good work here. He's just going to grab Lee, isn't he? No, up smash going to seal it. Yeah, that was super good. Uh, yeah, basically kind of grabbed and then realized, okay, that might have been a little bit of a mistake. Yeah. And uh, and just kind of waited for it. I, I thought I was going to see Plady just run in there and then just up smash both of them. Right. Um, but he doesn't do that, so it still works out for him. Well, you don't want to risk going in just as he starts.